I did not come prepared for this video. Um, I don't even have scissors to open this, so I'm gonna use a pen and uh, let's see how that goes. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Ken. You've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do also sell locally at an antique mall and uh, I order a lot of thread up boxes. But this is the first time I've ever ordered this specific box. So if you want to know how good or bad this box is, hopefully not, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, let's hop right in and uh, see what happens. All right, so I successfully opened the box with the pen and this is what the inside looks like this is the name brand handbag box i believe it's five pieces four are supposed to be purses and one accessory so like a wallet something similar to that i've seen a lot of mixed unboxings for this one so i'm a little bit nervous but if you're at all interested in this type of content as well as reselling content and a little bit of lifestyle thrown in, um, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family. Let's jump into this box. It was $100. I think it came to like $107 with tax. Um, like I said, I've never opened it. So I don't quite know what to expect other than from seeing other people's unboxings here on YouTube. So your guess might be better than mine. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, they did list some brands on the site when you purchase. I believe there was like Dooney and Burke, Tory Burch, Kate Spade, those types of things. And I know they do have two other handbag boxes. One's just a general handbag box and the other one is a coach specific box. So we'll see what happens, but not to spoil it but here's what it looks like inside and right on top is a kate spade i wanted to get this box because i've been ordering the same box for a while now the shoe box and i have way too many shoes but i never really find good handbags in my area so i thought this would be a good way to kind of jump into that market a little bit more and these are supposed to be diy so they could have flaws they probably will all have flaws. But this first one upon first glance looks decent. So like I said, it's a Kate Spade. This is like a quilted backpack. Here's a little placket at the front. Um, let's look inside first before. Um, inside looks good. There's no weird little surprises in there. <laughs> Would be nice if there was some cash in it, right? Everybody's dream. Uh, the straps all look good. Um, they do have a little bit of like hair <laughs> stuck to them. Like right here, there's some hair, which is kind of a little bit gross. Um, but otherwise, like this strap is a little bit mangled. Like it doesn't fully extend the right way. Um, so I might have to try and see what I could do to flatten that. Like if you look at the back of the backpack, this one sits nicely, but this one's all janky. So I'm going to see if I can maybe flatten that, put some heavy books on it or something and see if that helps at all. Satisfied with that first one so far. Well, this is a fun print. Ooh. Okay. So this is Tory Burch. There's the Tory logo there. And it does say Tory Burch on the hardware, which I know if it doesn't, it usually indicates that it's not authentic. Hopefully that's coming across. I think it is. Um, corners, let's see. The corners look good. I mean, there's some dirt for sure. Like there's a little mark here, if you can see that. Um, Otherwise, the corners are pretty good. Like down here, there's a little bit more darkening right along that seam here. Let's check the inside. Inside looks pretty clean, to be honest. Um, there are a few zippered pockets. Let's check in there. Hopefully I don't just blindly put my hand in there and touch something nasty. Oh, there's a surprise. Guys, there's a pen. I, 
could have used this pen to open the box. It says intercontinental.com, so I don't know. It's kind of like a cheapy feeling pen. Could have been way worse just sticking my hand in there. But yeah, this one looks pretty good, so I'm happy with this one too. All right, I see the accessory, so I'm gonna pull that out now. It's in a box. It looks very unassuming. It's just like a solid box. This is Michael Kors. I'm thinking this is probably gonna be a watch. Made in China, quality tested. There is some wear on the box, as you can see here, it's kind of separating. Yep, it's a watch. <laughs> it does have the pillow, but the watch was just sitting on top of the pillow instead of with the pillow inside the band of the watch, <laughs> like when you would normally receive a watch. It does appear to have extra links in here, um, and there's something else that's just wedged in the bottom. I think it's just like the little manual that comes with it. Um, here's another link here. So it looks like three total extra links. I've never sold a watch before, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking for. The face does look a bit cloudy. I don't know if that'll come across. I don't know if that's by design, um, but here is the watch face. It does say Michael Kors on the back. Um, otherwise, it looks nice. Um, there's a little bit of wear like on the back of the watch face. It says limited edition. I guess there were 5,000 of these made. This is number 2,651. Yeah, some wear definitely on the back where the watch clasp is. Let me see if I can undo this so I can show you. So here is part of the clasp. You can see it's just a little bit worn off here, like the finish and the inside as well. A little bit harder to see, but otherwise it looks okay. So I'm gonna see if I can do something about this face because it definitely does look cloudy. Um, and if I can clean it up nice, I will probably try sending this into the real real because like I said, I've never sold a watch, so I don't really know if I'm supposed to be looking for something specific or describing it in a certain way. I'm trying to put it back on the pillow. But it definitely could have been worse, I guess, than to get a watch. All right, so two more bags. Okay, this one has like a little green tag on it. I've never seen that before, but I've also never ordered this box, so I don't know. Um, and this is Coach, so I'm surprised to see this since they have their own coach box. This one's probably in the worst shape um, of all the ones I've unboxed so far. The inside's pretty clean. Just giving it a little once over. Here's the Creed. So C1476-29422. So that's good. I mean, usually if there's an F, it's a factory made bag and this one doesn't have that. So that's promising. Uh, all the straps appear to be in good shape. It does include the crossbody as well, which is great. All the hardware is marked with coach. Let me see if I can actually show this to you. Hopefully you can see that it says coach. I'm sure I can still sell this. It's absolutely not in like unsellable condition, but as you can see, there's considerable wear here on the sides. I might try to give this a once over with the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam and see what happens. Um, and there are a bunch of scratches on the front and back and the back too. But I mean, structurally it still looks pretty good so the corners are all fine um just you know just wear to the leather so can't really say i'm disappointed it is a diy box i heard something jingling in the bottom of the box and there's two more um links for the watch in here just in the bottom all right and last we have another kate spade i like selling kate spade bags 
it, this one is like a pink tote. Here is the Kate Spade logo from the front of the bag. Um, again, this one's super nice. All the corners look good. I think this is Safiano leather. I will do some research before I list them. I like to get the name of the bags and Kate Spade has the little white tags inside if you didn't know. Um, and you can look up that number to get the style. Inside's a little worse for wear than the outside of the bag, but I mean that happens especially with people who carry makeup and such in their bags. But here is the polka dotted interior. Um, this area right here is the worst. You can see it's very discolored in there. I might try and tide pen that and see if anything happens. Um, might make a little bit of an improvement. Otherwise, I'll just sell as is because the rest of the bag is in excellent condition. Other than the interior issues, there are just a couple tiny little marks on the back, like right here on the bag. There's a little scratch. Um, but yeah, overall, it's really nice. Um, again, I think it's Safiano leather. I could be wrong. I'm not the best with fashion as most of you know but yeah so we have one with the Kate Spade then we have this black leather coach with I don't know what this is if you guys know what this little green dongle is um let me know in the comments um this is definitely the worst one out of all of them this really cute like floral pattern Tori Kate Spade backpack and the Michael Kors watch. So overall, I'm honestly pleased. I definitely think I can at least make my $100 investment back. Um, I, like I said, I paid $107 altogether for the box with the taxes and everything. It can go either way though, um, from what I've seen here on YouTube. So I'm excited that I got a decent box. It definitely could have been way, way worse. And honestly, it would really suck to get a terrible box because at $100 and five items, that's 20 bucks a pop. Um, and sometimes if you get really damaged piece, it might be hard to recoup that investment. So I wouldn't recommend just running out and grabbing one of these boxes next time they're available just based on this video alone. Um, do some research here on YouTube. There's lots of videos out there from different creators um, opening these boxes and showing you what they found. Um, I was this close to getting the designer box, but as I was checking out, um, they sold out. So I was a little bit bummed about that, even though it's like $140 now for the seven pieces in the DIY designer box. But I've always wanted to open one because I just don't really find that level of luxury in this area. Um, at least I don't. I'm sure other people that are local to me do, um, but I. I just don't come across it to be honest and uh, I think it would be really cool to open but yeah I haven't been able to snag one. So if you see one available on the ThreadUp website, holler at your girl because she wants to order one. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me and helps push my videos out to other people who might enjoy me as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye.